In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show one of my favorite little tools that's out on the internet, and that is Vocaroo.com. One of my favorite things about Vocaroo is it does not require you to have a login and password. You don't have to register for the site. You just show up at Vocaroo.com and you can use it to do a couple of pretty useful things. As it says here, Vocaroo, the premier voice recording service. Vocaroo is a way for teachers, for students, or anyone to record their voice online. The first thing you need to do when you go to vocaroo.com is make sure that you do have Adobe Flash Player installed. Most of you probably already have it. If you don't have it, you may need to Google it or just go to Adobe and find it, download it, and install that. But my guess is most of you already have it installed. Even if you have it installed, you might get a message somewhat like this one that I'm getting. Click to enable Flash Player. And if you do see that, you are required to go ahead and click that and click Allow, or else Vocaroo just won't work. Now that that's done, you can see I have a record button and a volume control. The volume control is just what you would expect, and then just go ahead and click to record. Now, of course, you'll need a microphone. Unless you are using a laptop that has a built-in microphone, you would need to have probably an external microphone plugged into your computer. But anyway, just go ahead and click record. It's connecting to my microphone, or at least attempting to. I need to give it permission to do that, so I would click Allow, and then Allow again. Now, you may get different prompts if you're not using Google Chrome. I am using Google Chrome, but if you're using Internet Explorer, or Edge, or Safari, or some other browser, you may get this notification across the top on a bar, or across the bottom, or in some other way. But you need to allow that, and then just say what you want to say. I'm recording my voice online using Vocaroo. When you're done, click stop, and then you can click listen to play it back and listen to how it sounds. Allow that, and then just say what you want to say. If I want to, I can stop that and retry it and re-record. But in this case, that's probably as good as it's going to get for me, so I'm just going to move on. And it says here at the bottom, happy with this recording? Click here to save. So I would click there. It saves it to Vocaroo in their storage space. And again, I want to point out, I have not registered for this website. I didn't log in. I didn't use a password. I'm just using it freely without having an account. Now that I've saved that recording, notice that I get some sharing options. Here's a link, a direct link to my voice recording. I could copy that and paste it on a website, send it in an email, whatever I want to do. There's also an easy email option where you can just click here fill in this form, and then I can send it directly from Vocaroo. So if you're having students use this, they don't even have to have an email account in order to send you their recordings. There's also an embed option. By clicking embed, I get an embed code that I could highlight, copy, and I could paste that into Weebly or Canvas or other LMS or website builder tools, and it would embed a little player similar to this that other people could then click play, and they could hear my voice. Okay, so that's a nice option. We also have quick share options with Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Gmail, Google+, and even more. If you put your mouse on that plus sign, you can see a whole bunch of other options appear. You can click more again and get even more than that. So really some great options. I'm going to X out of those because I really think the two best options are yet to come. They're down here at the bottom. You can see that there's options for downloading my recording as an MP3. Then it's just like any song that I've purchased or, or ripped from CDs. It's an MP3 that could be played in iTunes or sent to anyone and they could hear it. I could also download it in WAV format, which is good for multimedia programs and things. Or if you're really an audio file, you could download it as a FLAC file or an AUG file. For the classroom, though, one of the very best options is here in the lower right. It's called QR code. If you click on QR code, it turns your voice recording into a QR code. And then anyone with a QR reader app on their phone could scan that code and then your voice would play on their phone. And there are many QR reader apps out there that are free. And so for the teachers out there, hopefully you're thinking of all sorts of great options for activities and ways that you could use Vocaroo. You could record instructions for your students that they then scan with a QR reader, and then they can hear your instructions on their phone. And it doesn't have to be a phone. It could be an iPad or an Android tablet or all sorts of other gadgets. But anyway, there's lots of ways that teachers and students could use Vocaroo in this way with the QR code. Another quick example I want to share, I heard about an art teacher 
that used Volkeru to record her students describing the artwork that they had created. And then the art teacher put on an art exhibit where each student chose their best work that they wanted to share, and then they created QR codes with their Volkeru voice recordings describing the art that they were sharing at the exhibit. The teacher then printed out these QR codes and put them with the art that they had produced. And they held this exhibit. Parents came in and they could scan and hear the students talking about their artwork. You know, what a great creative way to use QR codes and Volkeru in this case. So I love that option. If you're interested, here is one of the many QR readers that are available for iPhone that are free. And I've used this one. It's very reliable. And there's also excellent ones for Android phones. So I think that's a really exciting, good way to use Vocaroo. Now you'll notice that there is one more option here at the bottom of Vocaroo, and that's a delete link. This link, if you go to that link, it will delete your recording and it will no longer be available online. You can also just press this button here, delete now, and it gets rid of it. So this brings up a question that I often get about Volkeru, and that is, how long does my recording stay on Volkeru? And if you look in the help options, there are some frequently asked questions that you can look through. But basically, Volkeru does not have a definite time when they delete your recording. If you click this link here where it says how long are messages kept, it says it's likely the messages will expire after a few months. So if you create a message that's important that you want to keep and you want to keep it longer than just maybe two months, three months, then you really should download it to your computer, probably as an MP3, as I showed earlier. But for most student assignments, you don't really have to worry about that. Just have the students record their voice, they turn it in. If it expires in three or four months, by then they've got the credit for their assignment and you've moved on to other things. Another question I get a lot is this one. How long can my recorded message be? As it says here, there's really no limit. But just be careful. If it's a really long recording that you're doing, if there's an internet outage, you're going to lose whatever wasn't saved. So it's better to do shorter messages. You can do two short messages instead of one long one. So I just love Vocaroo.com. I think it's a great handy little tool. And especially for language teachers or speech teachers or debate, Think of the great ways you could use this. Having students record in the target language or record their debate practice, and then you can listen to it, you can grade it, and they can hear themselves speak and learn for themselves what they could do to improve. So I hope you'll check out Vocaroo. Now, if you liked Vocaroo, it's one of a series of tools that I've been spotlighting on my YouTube channel. These tools are tools that don't require a registration. So if you'd like to learn about more tools like this, please check out my playlist on tools that don't require registration. Also, I hope that you'll consider connecting with me on my social media platforms like Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for a new video at least every Monday.